immunity is the concept that some susceptible individuals in a population can receive indirect protection from an infection if they mostly come into contact with people who are immune to the infection. The more immunity there is in a population, the fewer susceptible people there are, and the more likely they are to receive this indirect protection. The threshold level of immunity in a population that is required to actually break the chains of transmission and eliminate a pathogen from a population depends on the reproductive number of the pathogen or how well it transmits between people. For a virus like measles, which is one of the most infectious human pathogens, the proportion of the population that must be immune to the virus to protect the susceptibles is somewhere around 95% of the total population, which is very high. For a virus like SARS-CoV-2, which causes COVID-19, that proportion is around 66%. And while that's lower than it is for measles, it's still very high. We started the year 2020 with a population level immunity of zero. So getting to a 66% level of population immunity cannot safely happen in a matter of a few years, much less a few months. To give you some perspective, about nine months into this epidemic, in the US, we have approximately 3% population level immunity and it has cost us nearly 200,000 lives. This level of population immunity does not provide indirect protection to very many susceptible people. While a vaccine would help increase immunity in the population, it will be a long time before we have a safe and effective vaccine that is available to 66% of the nation's population. That would be just over 200 million people. Another way we can indirectly protect susceptible individuals from infection is to reduce the number of infections and infectious individuals in the population. We can do this with behavioral interventions by reducing contacts and maintaining physical distance when we're outside of the household. All of these things will reduce the number of infections and infectious people in our population and will help protect susceptible individuals. When the virus is at very low levels, we can control it effectively and then gradually increase our contacts and activities. While other countries have achieved this goal using all the same tools that we have available, we are not there yet. 